Today, I'd like to talk to you about one of my entrees that I have, and this one is going to be a chicken crepe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with some butter. We're in Wisconsin. I love butter. And so will you. So here we are. We're going to start a little butter. We're going to have a little bit of carrots, some celery, and some onions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to let this cook and sweat. What does sweat mean? Well, it's what I'm doing here on the line. It's warm, but not really. This here, it starts looking like this and it'll turn out and look like this. That is to sweat the vegetables. Again, you can see the white and how it's nice and translucent. So now this is where I'm gonna take um, and add a little bit of flour, a little bit of more butter. Because what I'm gonna do now is I'm basically making a short time roux. Um, you can look at the recipe. It's basically the same amount of butter to flour. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cook this and just kinda let the butter melt, let the flour go until the point where it's all nice and melted. Uh, let's pretend that it melted by now. Uh, I'm going to add a little chicken stock and I'm going to add a little heavy cream. And here I have what's called a sachet. Uh, and in the sachet is thyme, parsley, bay leaves, peppercorns. And I'm going to place it in here and I'm going to let this cook. This is going to take a little while. So while this is cooking, I'm going to start showing you how to make the crepes. What you need first is a non-stick pan. With a non-stick pan, the most vital important of this is do not scratch it. If you scratch it, everything's going to stick to it. Take your pan and just slightly butter it. Again, you see just a little bit of butter on there. And I have a crepe mixture. And the crepe mixture, I'm going to set in the center. And just enough so I can kind of go out to the outside. Just hoping that you can see that. There we go. And you want to get the bottom pretty much filled up. And I'm going to let that cook. And what you want to do with a crepe is you don't want to add a lot of brown. Uh, brown on a crepe, it does not look good. It doesn't taste good. You cook it too far. Um, it won't take that long. Uh, but basically, let it go on this side. And I'm going to flip it over. And that doesn't take too long. You see here, you now have your crepe. And I'm going to flip it over one more time. This will be the side of presentation. All right, Amy, now that we have finished up the crepe, I am going to go back to the chicken. Basically, it's a chicken pot pie filling. Um, we cooked out the roux. It's been cooking for a little while. Now I want to go and add the chicken. The reason I add the chicken at the end is so that way it doesn't get overcooked. Uh, I'm going to add my chicken and a couple of little hangers. And I'm going to go and add some peas. And again, I add the peas at the end, otherwise the peas are going to go and change color and you're going to get brown peas. And this is the time where you want to let this cook, cook to the point where that the chicken is cooked all the way through. You're going to want to season with some salt and some pepper. And a little thing I like to add, I like to little add a little hot sauce to it. And you don't need a lot. This is, we're not making hot wings right now, Amy. All I'm doing is I want to go and bring out the flavor of the rest of the chicken by adding a little bit of that hot sauce. And that will take a little while to cook. But what I have here, I have a finished product. So we have some chicken, and you can see here, nice and thick. If it's not, too, if it's not thick enough, you're going to need to add a little bit more roux. But again, remember, you're going to need to cook that a little longer. You're going to take your crepe, and we're going to go and fill this up. All right, and we're going to take this and bring it over and bring it over again. We have a nice, beautiful crepe. And to present this, this is how it looks in the Wisconsin room. I'm going to go and take a nice plate and take a little asparagus. Hey, I just saute this up with a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper. Set this down. I have a little bit of spinach. And I cream this with a little bit of borson cheese, which is one of my favorite little items. Um, you could also use some cream cheese with herbs. Um, I'm going to set this over top of that. And I'm going to go and take my crepes. And here I have a couple crepes already ready to go. Again, I'm going to set them up on top. Like this. And I will finish with just a little bit of extra filling because no one 
no meal is complete without a little extra filling. Here we are, a little bit of chives. And Amy, this is one of the dishes in the Wisconsin room for lunch.